too often, when people think of Rwanda, they first think of the long history of violence and the genocide of 1994 that left the country devastated. The missing story is how Rwanda has managed this conflict, how Rwandans have taken control of their country, insulated themselves from a Western dependency, and reimagined a completely new kind of nationalism unlike the world has ever known. One which is based upon faith in humanity, forgiveness, reconciliation, and hope in a situation that the rest of the world deemed hopeless. This is the story I set out to find. My name is Victoria Grubbs. I'm a traveler, a teacher, and an artist working at a wonderful place called Gasimba Memorial Center in Kigali, Rwanda. Here, I found an opportunity to create and inspire new music with a new generation. According to UNICEF, there are more than a million orphans in Rwanda. These children and youth on their own in the world are now faced with the monumental task of imagining an entirely new Rwanda. Meet the youth artists of Gasimba Memorial Center. When I first arrived at Kasimba and presented myself as a musician, I was motivated by their overwhelming response of, please, I have a song. Can you help me? You can help too. We need your support to purchase the necessary equipment to build a music recording studio at Gasimba so that every youth and kid with a song at Gasimba can have the chance to bring their music to life. At this time, I have secured a computer and speakers for our studio. I have also installed production software and plugins on the computer, and the kids are already hard at work making beats. The money you donate will go towards purchasing and transporting other critical equipment, like microphones, cables, and interfaces. Once our studio is completed, I've arranged for many of the most successful producers in the country to come and teach free seminars on music production, basic songwriting, and how to succeed as business professionals in the Rwanda music industry. This project is about more than just singing a song. As we build the studio, I'll be teaching a seminar on the importance of the culture industry in a free country. We'll discuss the social role and responsibilities of the artists, take a focused look at the role that the media has played in Rwanda's long history, and debate ways in which these youth, as artists, hope to make an impression on the consciousness of their nation. With your donation, you're helping these youth to develop their craft, follow their dreams, to speak their mind, and share that message with the world. Thank you for your help.